Good morning, Internet. My name is Milk Ducks, and this is Quack Attack number two, where we learn to be better players. And let me just say really quickly that I'm so sorry it's taken me this long to get another video up. I have been sick as a dog for about a week, and I've been coughing so much that I actually actually lost my voice. I couldn't speak at all. <laughs> uh, and it's frustrating because I, I've sort of had this footage stockpiling up, and I can't do a commentary because I, I can't talk. Uh, so today is the first day in over a week that I can actually speak. And I know I don't sound 100% yet, so just, just bear with me, all right? <laughs> um, this is Ground War Team Deathmatch on Fallen, which is not my favorite map. So uh, what you're going to see me do is run a really standard, really reliable strategy. Uh, basically, whenever you're unfamiliar with how a map works, like you're not sure... Uh, where they're going to come at you, or what areas have good sight lines, or maybe you do have a couple spots where they're good, but they're also wide open. There are a couple things you can do to really help yourself out. One is to reduce your mini-map presence. This is pretty obvious. Uh, don't draw any unwanted attention to yourself. You know, Use a suppressor on your weapon so you don't show up as a red dot when you fire. Uh, run assassins so that UAVs can't see you, or just carry a stinger You know, so you can constantly take out their equipment. In this video, <laughs> I'm playing it safe because this is a map where I consistently do pretty badly, in my opinion. So I've got a suppressor, assassin, <laughs> and a stinger. And uh, the second big thing you can do is to stick to the outside edges of the map. Again, this is pretty standard. Uh, this is especially true in Modern Warfare 3 because the spawns in this game feel so uh, chaotic. You know, they'll put enemies right on top of you sometimes. And that's actually the reason why I'm using this heartbeat sensor, too. Uh, it feels like the game spawns enemies right next to me all the time. And this sensor, I mean, you might think it's cheap, but, you know, it gives me a heads up uh, all the time if someone spawns, like, right around a corner, and it saves my ass. So, like I said before, sticking to the outside edges of the map is really important, especially in Modern Warfare 3, because you can limit the number of ways your opponent has to flank you. Uh, even if they're spawning all around your location, at least you know they can't come at you from the outside of the map. The map. Uh, so you can sort of limit your vulnerability by sticking to the edges. Also, um, I just want to point out that I recorded this match from my theater rather than pulling it out live like I normally do. And I'm fine with that. I, I like doing it that way, but you don't get to see all the little things that I'm actually doing. Uh, for instance, there are a couple of times early on in this game where I'm just sort of laying down in the grass. Well, what I was doing, because you can only see so much of the mini-map, uh, was hitting start so I could see the whole map at once. And I was relaying the information that I had on enemy locations to the rest of the team. Uh, now, theater doesn't record that, though, so it just kind of looks like I'm just laying there on my stomach in the grass. You know, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, yeah, it's pretty standard gameplay, really. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about Team Deathmatch, because even though it's something that we do a lot of, because we play a lot of Ground War, uh, it's not something that I particularly enjoy. It's not something that I feel like I'm even particularly good at. Uh, I'm an objectives player. I like capturing and defending flags. I like planting bombs. And I especially like, you know, a lot of teamwork. And I don't feel like you necessarily get that in Team Deathmatch. It's, it's a little better in Kill Confirmed, but it still feels really loosely organized for me. It feels like, you know, even though you're on a team, there's no real objective other than to just get kills. So everyone's just sort of running around doing their own thing rather than working together. And that's my opinion anyway. Uh, that's why I really don't care for a lot of the Slayer game types, but I wanted to post one because I know a lot of people play those games. I know uh, a lot of people really like them. And I feel like even though I don't have you know a whole hell of a lot to offer in the way of advice, a little bit is probably better than nothing, especially if you're just starting out. What I do want to touch base on, though, is that I'd, I'd kind of like to change my format a little bit uh, I've been thinking lately that I'd like to start doing some player profile type videos where I, you know, I do commentary over someone else's gameplay. That allows me, you know, not only to show you guys some different play styles, but it also allows me to give shout outs to players that I think deserve some attention. And it gives me a chance to provide some feedback uh, or advice to players that are starting out. So if you've got some footage that you want me to see or you want me to cover, just let me know. If you, uh, if you play on the 360, I can go into your vault, record the gameplay directly, and uh, do some commentary over it. I'm really excited about the idea of opening up this channel to some new gameplay, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, I hope you guys take me up on the offer. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool.
I've got some friends that have posted some really great gameplay lately, and I'm thinking I'd like to cover you know one of those games next. So please stay tuned for that and let me know what you think. And if you've got a game you want me to cover, again, just let me know. But that's all the time I've got for right now. As always, my name is Milk Ducks, and until episode number three, quack quack.